Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the show that discusses Islamic duties and practices for Muslims by His Eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. May Allah prolong his life. I'm your host, Mosin Shah, and joining me, my co host, the fantastic Sheikh Ali Ma'ash. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum, Rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Sheikh, if you remember, we were discussing before doubts, valid doubts in Salah. We were discussing um, is it okay to abort the Salah or not? Um, and we were discussing, you know, ihtiyat salah and how it's performed. What I wanted to ask you, Sheikhna, was that some people are excessive doubters. And, you know, they, they are so uh, particular about their salah that they end up repeating themselves four, five, six, seven, eight times. Is this the correct methodology to use that? Yes, you should have 100% concentration and 100% yaqeen that your salah is 100% perfect. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد It is forbidden for the one who is performing prayer and salah to repeat the salah many times on the grounds of وسوسة uh, or obsessive nafs so it's haram to do such act you cannot just keep repeating and repeating the salah just because you're not sure if it's uh, performed correctly with all the conditions. There are rules of, 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 um, um, of doubts. You follow them. If it's an invalidating doubt, then خلاص, you, you abort the salah. If it's a valid doubt, you follow the procedures. You cannot just do the, um, abort the salah and repeat it again and so forth. Or even pray it fully and then uh, pray again, fully and again and so forth. You repeat. It's a waste of time, and Shaitan will be uh, and will be uh, encouraging the one uh, to do more, so he would deviate that mu'min from the right path. So we try to um, stick with these rules, and of course the waswasa, the one who has this issue, they can just ignore it and follow the procedures and continue the salah. So the best way is just to ignore it and to overcome uh, the waswasa and the whisper of the Satan. Ahsan Shaykhna. Uh, Shaykhna, we had um, discussed beforehand that um, if you add or subtract anything from the salah, you have to perform what is known as sajda so. So can you tell us when does that become obligatory? Sajda hi as they become obligatory and wajib in salah. Uh, when somebody um, does these five acts in Salah. Number one, if one unintentionally speaks during the Salah. Okay. As we mentioned, you know, if you say open, open the door or, or <laughs> answer the phone, for example, mistakenly, you know, unintentionally, then uh, in this case, and it's not deliberate, yes. be careful, deliberately will make the Salah void and batal. But unintentionally, in this case, uh, the salah is correct, sahih. You just have to do two sajda of sahu when you do the salam. After yes, the ending the salah, you do two sajda of sahu. I've mentioned this previously, how to do the, do, uh, the uh, sajdat. And then that's it, you should recover this fault. So that's the first uh, um, place or uh, situation. situation in which you have to do the sajda I, th I think sahu. it's more common for people to say ouch or oof or something like that in salah exactly you know if they've got bad muscles or something like exactly. that exactly so if you do you have to <laughs> perform sajda sahu inshallah exactly so we move to the second uh, one and that is when um, you do taslim okay in let's say the first rak'ah Ah, okay. Suddenly, so you've you've you sit down, performed something where it shouldn't exactly. Have been. Okay, you you're performing something, and uh, this act is not part of this stage. It is in the, in the stage of the very last of the salah. So taslim is in the very last rak'ah of the salah, third or second or fourth. It depends on which salah you're praying. So in this case, uh, when you finish, and again, unintentionally. 
uh, mistakenly you uh, did taslim on the first rak'ah, let's say. In this case, uh, you stand up, you continue the salah, and then um, you do two, two sajda of sahu after the taslim. Number three, if one forgets one of the two prostrations, okay. so not both, because the both prostrations and sujood, are they are rukun and key elements. If you forget them, the whole salah is batil. But if you forget just one sajda, yes. So or let's if you say, add an extra one, so you've done three instead. Exactly. So if you do one sajda only, in this case, you go after the salah, after the taslim, yes. you do sajda uh, sahu, and uh, that should cover uh, this fault. Number four, you have, if somebody, let's say, forgets tashahud, again, taslim in the first place, and yes. then tashahud. Let's say you're sitting on the second rak'ah. Uh, after, which is, which is called the um, resting position. So you did your two sajda, you sit up, and then you stand up. You should have done what? Tashahud. Yes. In this case, um, if somebody forgets the tashahud, they do also two sajda of sahu to recover this fault. And finally, um, if one doubts, so the shak comes, after the second sajda in the fourth rak'ah, after the second sajda in the fourth rak'ah, as to whether he um, performed four rak'ah or five rak'ah. Oh, wow. Again, in this case, you do sajda as sahu to recover this fault. So th these are the main five um, aspects in which you have to uh, offer the sajda as sahu. And in overall, there's a rule in overall. Let's make it easier for the viewers that if somebody adds or deducts from the salah, mistakenly, unintentionally, not being delib deliberate and so forth, in this case, if you add or subtract from the salah, mistakenly, then you have to do sajdati as sahu. That's but, important. But to remember, it is not if you add or subtract a rukun, for example, if you forget to do your ruku, or if you've done two rukun, exactly. Then your salah is bad. That's excluded. That's uh, only exception. The only exception is the sajood. Exactly. If there's three sajood or if there's one sajood, then you, you can perform such this. So otherwise, exactly. no, martyr, do it again. Exactly. Sah? Exactly. Yes. Yes. Excellent. The rukun must be performed. Uh, if not performed, then the salah is batal, whether you have uh, done it deliberately or unintentionally. Uh, you forget to say takbir to haram, Allahu Akbar. You forget. Yes. You're sure 100%, not a doubt. Yes. We said if it's doubt, you just pass and carry on, carry on uh, because you've moved to the next stage. But you're sure 100% that you forgot to say takbira, yes. you have to repeat Such the salah. won't cover it. You exactly, to, exactly. You Ahsan. Start from Ahsan. the beginning. MashaAllah. Shaykhna, what if I uh, made a mistake in my salah, but I corrected it? Uh, you know, if I repeated that mistake correctly, do I then need to perform the sajdah suhu still? Or it's okay, no, because because you redid really it properly, it's fine. If you, rep as I've mentioned, if you repeat that um, uh, wrong ayah you've um, recited, or let's say you forget to recite uh, alhamd, and you still haven't moved towards the ruku' for example, or, the, or the, even the surah, yes, you just have to recite the hamd again. Or if you recited, let's say, uh, one of the tasbihat by mistake, you know, not in the grammatical way, you just repeat it, and if you said it correctly, there's no need to do the sajda as sahu or any other acts in which to recover this fault, because you've already recovered the fault by repeating uh, this verse or this word in the salah. That's fine. Ahsan Sheikh. Sheikh, what happens if. Um I am in, uh, let's say I'm in Ruku, in my third Raqqa, and I remember that I haven't performed Tashahud or Sujood. Um, I missed one of the Sujoods in the previous Raqqa, in the second Raqqa, but I'm on my third Raqqa in my Ruku. What should I do there? Sajjad so al is enough? Well, uh, the one Sajda and Tashahud is wajib and Salah must be performed. And because you forgot to perform them in the previous rak'at, you can't go back because you've 
uh, past the stages from one rukun to another rukun. You can't go back so and do just, them. Just, just to make clear to the, to the viewers, it's not that I have doubt. I know that I have missed exactly, exactly. my tashahud. I know that I've missed one sajood and tashahud. Exactly. Now in my next raqa in the ruku, what do I do? Do I, do I abort or do I carry on? In this case, if, if you forgot uh, the tashahud or the uh, one sajda, not two, one sajda, um, when you finish the salah and you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, after the taslim, you make the intention of the forgotten tashahud, let's say. Yes. So while you're sitting without moving and preserving the posture of the salah, the state of the salah as it is, so you, you do the salam and then you make the intention of the forgotten uh, tashahud. Okay, so as if it's qadha like qadha, qadha exactly, tashahud. Exactly, okay, qadha Just make the niyyah in your heart. And then you recite the tashahud, recite the and tashahud. That is, that's it. And that's it, no taslim after that's that. That's it, that's it. Okay. Or uh, the, the sujood, okay. you finish the taslim of the salah, you go to one sujood, Yes. And you do sajda, qada of sajda. Yes. Uh, and that's it. You've done uh, and you recovered this fault. But also the Sayyid says that um, uh, you should also um, perform two prostration of sajda as sahu. Okay. In Again. Addition. In because addition. what you have deducted from the salah. Yes. You took off one or two acts, yes. which is the shahud and one, one, one sajda. Yes. So in this case, you also do afterwards sajda as sahu. And you pray these two sajda to also recover this fault. MashaAllah, Shaykhna Asad. Shaykhna, when should one perform sajda sahur? As in, I've done dhuhr, I'm, in, I'm very eager to pray asr. If my sajda sahur is for the dhuhr prayer, can I pray asr and then the sajda sahur for the dhuhr prayer after? Or should I pray it directly after dhuhr prayer? The two sajda of sahur. Uh, they must be done and performed after the salah because there's a fault. Other you've added something or deducted something from the salah. So you must do it in order to recover this fault. But if you forget, whenever you remember, you must do the two sajda whenever you remember. So it's important that uh, you don't neglect and ignore this two sajda. Very important uh, to recover this fault, the addition or subtraction of, from the salah. Ahsan Sheikh, now thank you very much and thank you to all the viewers that joined us for Ikram SOS. Uh, inshallah you benefited as greatly as I have. Uh, Muharram is coming there and we ask you to you know, remember us in your du'as and please remember the channel in your du'as. Until next time on Ikram SOS, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.